everyone, and welcome to another show of RMU Tonight. I'm your host, Shane Spierick. Stick around because we've got the latest news on Britney Spears, Chris Brown and Rihanna, and much more. She can't stay out of the news for long. Britney is back. The time has arrived to see if Britney can ever regain her crown as the queen of pop or if she'll just continue being the hot mess she's been in her recent years. Britney is set to kick off her circus tour tonight in New Orleans. Everyone is holding their breath to see if she's going to be back to the singing bombshell she used to be. Rumors say she's been working hard, but we'll just have to wait and see. While Britney's working on her changes, President Obama has some other ideas. Although he ran on a platform of change, he and his wife Michelle have decided that they want to keep things as similar as possible to their old way of life for their two daughters, Sasha and Malia. Their mother Michelle says that the girls will still have chores and she's even spoken to White House staff and asked that they not do anything for the girls because they are kids and life shouldn't be that easy. The girls are, however, allowed to have free reign of the White House. Sounds like a pretty fair trade-off. What's going on over with you guys, Zach and Brandon? That sounded fantastic. <laughs> but anyways, what we're going to be talking about is the idea with Chris. Did you hear, see that video on YouTube with yeah, Christian Bale? Christian Bale. Christian that, Bale on the set of Terminator you know Why are we live? starts flipping out Why are we live? on no, people. We're not I mean, live just right completely now. flipping no, out. I'm just going to keep on talking. I don't care if we're not live. <laughs> I like to talk. Everyone out there on the show knows I like to talk. Yeah. Yeah. Let Zach talk. Let Zach talk. Let's talk. I like to talk all the time. Yeah, I know. Anyways, quiet down, quiet down. Quiet down, quiet down. Quiet down. I'm talking, I'm talking. Quiet. I love right, my, so I love my ahead, eyes. Ahead, Anyways, man. he was flipping out on the director of photography because this guy kept talking and moving around on the yeah. back screen. He was cursing, yelling. <laughs> it, um, it was him, hilarious. In the middle of being so angry, he actually said to him, you're a nice guy. You're a nice guy, but you're never gonna bleeping make it in this business. Oh man. It was very I know. interesting. He, he was very mad. Look too. it up on YouTube, just putting, you know, Christian Bale. And, 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 and look and look for the David going to the oh, dentist video. We, we had a video, but because YouTube is a Nazi, yeah. we couldn't get it. And um, it was this little kid David after going to the dentist's office and some guy mixed it together with Christian Bale flipping out of him <laughs> and it's actually a great, great uh, piece. But I um, think the kid kid was flipping out, I loved it. Um, I like it too. Well, let's, let's, let's go back to the audience and see how they look today. Yeah. Yeah! 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 Barbara Walters did a special on the most interesting people. Lucky for us, the Jonas Brothers made that list. In an interview, Barbara asked each of the guys to describe each other. Kevin described Joe as being Mick Jagger-esque. Joe described Brother Nick as presidential. Finally, Nick described Kevin as enthusiastic. Let me get this straight. Your brother is going to say you're like a rock star and a great leader like the president, and the nicest thing you can say about him is that he's enthusiastic? Puppies and five-year-olds are enthusiastic. Poor Kevin. The interview got extremely awkward at that point, seeing as how it seemed like nobody really liked Kevin. Kevin needs some loving from Brandon. However, a few weeks ago, I had Jessica Simpson as our Celebrity of the Week because she was getting so much criticism for being normal-sized. This week, my Celebrity of the Week is Heidi Klum, but not for being normal-sized. Instead, Klum spoke out recently, telling people to leave Jessica alone because everyone should feel comfortable with who they are. On top of that, Heidi has a hit show, perfume line, she's a Victoria's Secret model, a gorgeous family. What more could this woman ask for? Thanks, Heidi, for being a supermodel and still supporting those who like to eat. Thank you. Well, just to warn all of you out there who have small young children who might look like a small young child, <laughs> Michael Jackson is back on the scene, and he is expecting to make a very important announcement this week, dealing with the possibility of a live tour in London. Now, MJ has not been seen for a while, and he has had some surgeries done. So here's a picture for MJ, of MJ, so you all know what he looks like, so you can keep an eye out for him. Let's take a look at that MJ picture. 
That is MJ. Keep keep a lookout. Um, wait, that MJ looks pretty familiar. It looks like Brandon. Oh! 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 I hate you. I really hate you. You know what? We're, we're, we're done. We're done, Zach. We're done. That's a little scary. No, you know what? I... Shut up, Ed. If you have children, please run. Oh, my God. He's crazy. He's touching me. 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 This week's Fashion Donut of the Week is a simple, simple one. Don't wear horizontal stripes. They are so unflattering. Why would it ever seem like a good idea to put huge, thick lines going across your body, making you look wider than you are? What clothing designer thought that this would be cute? Even worse, don't wear stripes on your legs. You look ridiculous. Instead, go for the vertical stripe. It'll make you look better, I promise. Brandon? Rihanna and Chris Brown are back together. Yes. Only three late weeks after Chris Brown battered the singer on February 8th. This just does not make any sense to me because what, I mean, what doesn't even make more sense also is that P. Diddy is helping the couple out by letting them stay at his Florida house. Chris Brown has called Rihanna on her 21st birthday last week and wished her a happy birthday. And they have come to a mutual agreement that they are back together and all is well. All I have to say is this, why? Because they love each other. All right, Zach, that's enough. Woo! All right. Go hey, thanks, guys. Hey, Chris Walker here this week. Now, you know, normally this time in the show, we have I'm out and about doing something else, but today it's kind of cold out this evening. They're kind of close, uh, so we figured we'd stay indoors. Uh, would you gentlemen like to introduce yourselves? I'm the Black Sheep. Check out my new album coming out. Uh, my name is uh, Colby. I'm Dead Man Dewey. And I signed myself out of the hospital just for this. Okay. All right. Uh, well, this week's topic. He's not a hockey player. Now, take this outside. I think the man's trying to talk. You can keep going if you want. I don't Go care. ahead. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Now, normally, you know, every week I come, you know, we come up with a topic to talk about. Now, next week we won't be here, of course, because next week is spring break. So I figured we could talk a little bit about spring break this week. What, what do you guys have planned for next week? I mean, it's a check out my new album. It's called Spring Break. It's coming out on spring break. And you need to check it out. I'm the black sheep, baby. I'm the black sheep, the real black sheep. Uh, well, Mr. Walker, I plan on visiting my home in uh, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and, uh, you know, visiting the family. Mm. Give me uh, back my hat. Hopefully I won't be dead because th 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 there's going to be a whole article, I, I guess, about me supposedly dying. But maybe I'll just go home instead. I'm not really sure. Might, might be dead, might be going home, not really sure. You, you have this thing about dying. I, I, hope, you, I hope you're okay. <laughs> well, you know, it, I, I did a little research, and it turns out, would you believe it, 70% uh, of college students actually just stay home for spring break. Was that on the internet? I got that off the internet. Oh, then it must be true. Well, it Everything could be true. On, on it could be true. true. It's, it's from the State Department. Oh. I mean, they, they, they usually know what they're talking about. Screw the state! Check out my new album! Wait a minute. They're government. They never know what they're talking the about. That they're must mean we're, we're all in Cancun. Was it, wait, yeah. it, it has to be the exact. Was it, was it, I don't want to go there this week. Was it the was it the, the United States government or the Canadians? No, us Canadians, we're always. You well, know, you know, in Canada, on. you probably already know this. In Canada, they refer to spring break as study week. Yeah, we don't. What what, what, what what are they studying on study week? Uh, we, I mean, we study the, the the female anatomy. And uh, should go to Canada. And, uh, <laughs> All right, well, and other various, you know, uh, you know, like like plants. And, uh, you know, we study the fermenting process. You know, you know, we like to study those things. Okay. Can we study some of that fermenting process right now? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, we'll do that later. Okay, guys. I'm the black sheep! Come on, no almost <laughs> come out this spring break hell! We'll, we'll, we'll see you later. <laughs> Well, I will be picking my contestants in about a minute for our uh, contest tonight. 
And it should be pretty entertaining with uh, the black sheep over there. But knowing this crowd, um, I'm pretty sure it will be good. But for now, Shane, please tell us what's going on on campus this week, and uh, then we'll get started with the contest. Well, certainly I will do that. Hopefully the black sheep won't come over here and attack me or anything because he seems a little out there. But uh, there aren't really any campus events going on this week because, as we learned in the past um, couple minutes, that spring break is next week. I'm personally super excited for this and ready for the break, so enjoy your time off. But once we come back, don't miss RMU Radio's Battle of the Rock Band, Wednesday, March 18th in the cafeteria. The winner will receive $100 worth of gift cards and prizes. To sign up for it, email the RMU Radio crew at rmuradio at rmu.edu. And now back over to Brandon. All right, well, here are my contestants tonight, and, well, they're just all over us. Um, Mom. Tonight, the contest will be a little different than usual. The contest tonight is going to be who can do the best job acting like they're going downstairs or an elevator from behind the desk. And then after that, we will have them, oh, God, black sheep, um, do a little skit with their hands, a little hand puppet skit for us tonight. But before we get to all of that, I want to see, all right, please get off me. You still have to read some, I, there's some still stuff on the podcast. Dude, I, I know what I'm that, doing, though. That. I know what I'm doing. Zach, by the way, Zach is awesome. I can't believe you. So let's get this started. What? Oh, you changed everything on me. All right, Black Sheep, can you, did you want to do go, go first? Do you know what you're doing? I have to, I have to introduce <laughs> What am I doing? All right, you're either going to be acting like you're going to go down the stairs from behind the desk or in an elevator going down. Check out the Black Sheep. Ready? Ready? <laughs> I gotta go down, check out my new album. See you later. Wow. I'll have to admit that was pretty good. And pretty always good. advertising his new album. Make sure you get it, Spring Break. That's pretty impressive, right. advertising and doing I that know, at, the same time. at the same time. I know, at the same time. Multitask. Let's go next. Who wants to go next? Awesome. Let's do the penguin guy. I like the penguin, penguin guy. guy. I, I, let's see it. Mr. Let's Red see. Hair. Let's, let's see what you got. What's the rule? Gingerbread over Either here. you're going downstairs or an elevator. I want to see how good you can do it. Which one are you going to do? Tell us. I'm going to go down the stairs. You're going to go down the stairs. I hope you trip. He obviously fell. That was he horrible. Fall. He That's fall. horrible. I, I th if you go down the stairs, you don't I, I fall think going he, down I think the stairs. I think he broke his neck. You want to go next? Guess I'm the only one. You are the only, only one. one man. I mean, let's see it. Man. Right. I can do a lot let's better than these guys. All right. What you go? Let's, let's, let's see it. Walking down some stairs. All right. All right. He's going down the stairs. I hope he trips also. Let's see a trip. Let's see a trip. Let's see a trip. That is. Oh yes. Oh, oh I... <laughs> he tripped. This makes me so I love that. Why? I'm sorry, man. It's, just, it's fun Dude. to see someone die and trip. And oh, I, I, th I think he broke his. I don't like I think him he broke anyways. Some. I think I, I hope dead he man. Did. You know, he he came out of the hospital. But you know what, Zach? I think, I think, Zach, I think Zach, Wesley Zach, Black Sheep wants to promote. You, you want to introduce the trailer we have? For I would love to introduce the trailer we have. The trailer we're going to be I'm going to be introducing to you is the last house on the left. Hope you like it. Let's take a look at the trailer right now. Are we there yet? We are making the turn now. It's the last house on the left, in case you forgot. It is the only house for miles, Dad. Do you guys need the car today? I was thinking I could meet up with Paige. Have fun. I don't think we've met. I'm Paige. This is Mary. Hey. What do you feel like doing tonight? I think Justin here could be kind of cute. <laughs> Evening. You knew not to bring anybody back here. What? We made the front page. That's what's going on. This is none of our business. I'm sorry, ladies. Oh, my God. We just can't risk it. Oh, no. No, no. Please. These are two lovely girls, Justin. Bring her back. You got her. Now what? I saw a house back there. Despite our car trouble, we're actually pretty lucky today. Seeing your house, there's only one problem. Our daughter won't have the car back till tomorrow morning. You know, you should probably just sleep here tonight. We have a guest house. Did you hear that? Mary! She's been shot. Can you tell us who did this to you? What are we gonna do? We don't have a car. The phones are dead and they're still here. Which means we're gonna be ready to do anything.
You want to hear what I did to your daughter? I want to hear you beg for your life. What is this? I can't move. You're paralyzed from the neck down. I didn't have any rope or duct tape. Ah, ah, ah. Wow, that 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 looks horrible. Oh. I would not want yeah! to. I, would not. I still have a pulse, so I might actually outlive yeah! that guy in the trailer. I don't. I don't want. I don't want that. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that movie on my worst enemy. I would. Go watch it, Ed. Oh, that's mean, <laughs> Ed. Do. That's just mean. Watch it and like it. No, I don't know what I would do if it's the last house on the left, but I do know what I'd do for a Klondike bar. But anyways, <laughs> upcoming movies are Watchmen, which comes out March 6th, um, Knowing, which comes out March 20th, Adventureland, which comes out March 27th, and X-Men Origins Wolverine, which comes out May 1st. And I guarantee you we'll have a trailer of Wolverine and Adventureland before they come Adventureland? out. Adventureland? Yes, we will. All right, sounds good. Well, we're going to send it to break, and we will be back in a few minutes. Welcome back, everyone, to Army Tonight. So what are Brandon and Zach making innocent people do this week? Let's go over and find out. Take it away, losers. Wow, thanks, Shane. You're so nice. I hate you. All right, we are back to the contest now, and um, it looks like Black Sheep is ready to go. So we will get to our hand puppet part of the show, and um, let's see what these three fellas has got for us. Yeah, they got dirty socks. That's what they I got. I know. They, they are it's dirty disgusting. socks. Well, well you, you guys ready? You, you ready, Black Sheep? All right, let's do it. Black Sheep, where are we? <laughs> I don't know. Think we're in Call hockey me, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the land. smell. Boys, we're in hockey land. Is that like hockey night? Sure. You know where I got my sock? Where'd you get your sock? Brandon's Black locker. Sheep. Brandon's locker? Yeah! Shane gave it to me! Oh! Oh, Shane gave you something? She gave me a sock! <laughs> Did she buy your new album, Black Sheep? Oh, everybody be buying my new album! How many sales? I don't know! <laughs> Double platinum? At least! <laughs> Triple? Is this like a Japanese Probably. film? Because the one keeps moving its mouth yeah, without no. talking. <laughs> Shut up, Zach! <back. laughs> Oh my Zach gosh. Talk. I'm just trying to figure this Black out. Zach, Zach, Zach always Bobby, talks. Bobby, that'll be enough. Zach talk. Let Zach talk. You guys aren't very The hat's very tonight. abusive. Zach can't talk? I'm trying. Are you <laughs> Looks me? like they have nothing else to I say. I know, I know. It looks like they're pretty much done. Zach they were done talk. from the beginning. I think they were, yeah. I mean, what, what do you have to say about this? I, I mean... I, 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 kinda, I was liking the hat and the glasses I until was. he beat down the other sock for saying, let's act talk. But still, yeah. I mean, those socks are dirty and nasty and sickening. So, I mean, if I was going to choose anyone to win, um, it would be the hat guy, especially because he had the most fantastic elevator dive I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Zach, some, sometimes I just don't know. I just don't know about you sometimes. Hey Brandon, let Zach talk. I always have talk. Let Zach talk. Get that let sock Zach away from me. All right, I'm touching that. Oh. Let Zach hey. talk. You know what? Let that's Zach talk. I have a Zach's, Zach. very close oh relationship. Oh man, with this, this stuff's starting to get weird. I'm being this humped is, this, by this a hat weird. glasses. This is this is Let oh Zach my. Talk. All right, this this card has gotten out Kobe, of hand because Kobe, Zach, Zach needs. To Zach, talk. are you actually enjoying that? Because you always <laughs> I don't, the I'm not sure. I think uh, I am, but I'm not. I, I don't know. Man. It's like a confusing I feeling. Know. I don't know. <laughs> He's dancing on my arm. Oh God, he's getting rough. Can we end this contest, please? <laughs> yeah, I we're going to end so it. So uncomfortable. They, you, you sure you, you win? To... Okay, you don't need to like molest me. Zach, you you enjoyed it talk. too much. Michael though. Jackson's already out. We don't need another. No, don't one. worry about it. What's You're all, about? It's all good. It's all good. Well, thanks everyone for that awesome contest, and um, Zach is enjoying it way too much tonight. But right now, we're going to take a look at upcoming film, State of Play. So let's take a look.
coffee's free for friends of the press. I heard a young woman was murdered. Who told you that? You just did. Sonia Baker, a valued member of my staff, died this morning. Congressman Collins, he's an old friend of yours, is that right? Good reporters don't have friends, only sources. You OK? Collins was allegedly having an affair with a young woman. I want to know everything that we can about her. We've got eight hours. They've got 56 cameras. There are three blind spots in the entire system, and Sonia Baker went down in one of them. Come on, Cal, leave that alone. Close your eyes. Just checking out your cell phone. Did we just break the law? Nope. That's what you call damn fine reporting. The casings at the crime scene were untraceable. That is the mark of a pro. Who might have wanted Sonia dead? The thesis that we are pursuing involves a certain company that Congressman Collins is investigating. She had access to everything we were doing, and I believe they killed her for it. This is a full-blown conspiracy. You gotta protect yourself, man. You cannot connect anything back to me. Do you have any idea what you're threatening here? Billions of dollars. That's wrath of God money. story is massive. It's not a story. It's a case. Now you have blood on your hands. Do you really think you're going to publish this? I trusted you. The newspaper can slant this any which way they want to. How do you think that's going to go down? It's become a popular fashion trend for people to be carrying huge bags. I myself carry a rather large bag to put all my crap in. However, studies have shown that heavy bags are actually causing serious back problems by causing the spine to go out of alignment. Even guys with heavy wallets can have problems. So be careful out there, guys. Wallets and bags are dangerous. And some... Oh. All right, so that movie trailer that we just saw, we have found out that our producer, Cassie, actually saw it being filmed, which is pretty freaking awesome. And she actually was almost attacked by Russell Crowe, which is really? pretty interesting. Yes, she really? he actually almost threw a phone at her. Well, that, that that's that's quite that, that is that, that is interesting. I like uh, that's It is fascinating. But you know, I, I, love I, Russell I, I don't think I'm going to actually go see that movie. You are? And that handbags thing, what was yeah, that about? I, I, I know. What are you putting weights in yeah, your bags, seriously, ladies? Seriously. seriously why stop is that why is that bag so much? You want to know why it weighs so much? Cuz they like bring themselves a life pack because just in case they need like all their makeup yeah. and extra dress, yeah. see, couple see, pairs of see, shoes. Yeah, see a hot guy, they got to change real quick on me. And what, 16 what's, what's the deal iPods, with that? because you know, 16 you never iPods. know if you're ever going to run out yeah, of music. Yeah, run out of battery or music. Who knows? It's, it's, I don't understand. I think anybody. Shane has just joined us. I think she did. Here she is. There's Shane right there. There's Shane. Oh, yeah. How'd you get out of here? It's so just fast. Magic. Like, magic. just to let everyone know, the actual studio is about like a football size length. Huge. Yeah, it's humongous. She's basically it's like KKK. She ran the whole thing. New record. I did, I sprinted. It's amazing. How, anyway, in, uh, in some bizarre news, oh. a man from Nebraska is facing animal cruelty charges after stuffing his cat into his homemade bomb. That was me. That was you. I thought that's, so. That's I, I thought it looked, it was. The picture looked like you, yeah, but I wasn't sure. I and, I, and obviously, <laughs> we're not making this up. Um, but the police were called to the 20 year old Nebraska man's house for domestic disturbance call. Upon arrival, the cops found the man smoking yeah. marijuana out of a contraption with a cat stuffed in the bottom of it. The man said the cat was hyper and he just wanted to calm it down. Um, oh, now not, oh, not only is this guy being charged with drug possession, but, um, oh, and paraphernalia, but animal cruelty charges as well. I um, felt like I was just medicating the cat. Okay. Zach, you, you are. That's just oh, messed up. what is wrong up. with you? That's messed what up. What is wrong right, with Zach, you? That's th All right. I mean, I seriously I mean, thought, why can't if you can medicate people with marijuana, why can't you medicate yourself and why, a cat at the same time? Dude, why would you stuff the cat in the bomb? Dude, though? it was complaining. It had a broken leg. Did you kill it was the a cat? Broken big leg. Bomb. I actually big. heard that they're testing the cat's lungs to yeah. see if it suffered any damage. Or, or, didn't. Or, are you sure the leg wasn't broken before or after what you Not did? Not sure. That's what I thought. That's, that's just, what that's I thought. You totally broke that leg. The just bong was huge, okay? It was gigantic. <laughs> the cat fit perfectly Zach. inside. What, it was what, like, what, what do you need a big bong for? The cat slept there anyways. Okay? He slept there. <laughs> he sleeps there all the time. I'm, right? just, I'm having a hard time picturing problem, this because like, problem the, the was, tube and the... My problem was he was asleep and he, was, he looked like he was in pain. I was in pain. I heard about medical marijuana. I thought we could help us shut the house both out. 
I didn't want to bring him out. Of the, I didn't want to bring him out of the bong and make him awake. You know, I no, thought no, I was no, doing no, the right no. thing. Sh -sh -sh. I refuse to be associated with any form of drug use yeah. ever. All right. Yeah. There we go. Thanks for tuning in to our news tonight. We'll see. Catch you uh, after spring break. Join if you want to be a part of our live audience, join us next week at 7 p.m. on Tuesday. And don't, don't do any drugs or Enjoy stuffed it. cats into or, anything, really. Stay away from Zach. Unless you're Zach. just trying to help stay it. Stay away from Zach. Just stay away. Yeah, that's pretty w good Watch advice. out, spring break. MJ's on the loose!